Hello everybody, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for today's video. As you guys saw by the title, we'll be playing with the new, we'll be testing out, we will be trying the new Jaclyn Cosmetics bronzer. I'm sure you guys have seen it all before, but um, I wanted to give you guys my review, um, and then I definitely will put my shade in the title so you guys know. I know personally sometimes I look for a product but I look for a specific shade just because I know that that will that'll probably be my shade and I want to see it in action um so just so you guys know my shade is up there let me see here I'm just gonna pull it up first if you guys like this video definitely give it a big thumbs up hit the subscribe button and without further ado let's just get started all right so <clears throat> this is the new Jaclyn Cosmetics uh sun bathe press bronzer I was so excited when I saw she came out with these um, I'm a little, like, so I really love her baked bronzer formula. We'll do a little bit of co a comparison, but she came out with these duos in baked bronzer form and baked product form, and, like, the baked bronzer in here is magical. So, like, I was kind of just, like, why ditch the, the baked bronzer and go right for a different, like, formula, but, um, I'm excited because I've heard so many good things about this bronzer, so maybe, you know, it was a good call on her end. So, there are 10 options online. I know when I went into store, one of my, uh, my shade, my store only had like four or five options. They didn't have all 10. So, um, if you're looking, if you're one, if you go into store and you're like, there's no shade for me or, or whatever it is, just so you guys know that there aren't all the stores and all the, all the shades in all the stores. Um, that's just a big heads up. The bronzer cost, um, $32 each, which is obscene. It says Jaclyn Cosmetics Sun Bathe Press Bronzer delivers an end of summer golden hour glow and a matte finish in 10 shades. This press formula is easy to buff into skin and delivers buildable coverage for a day by the pool or weekend at the beach. Enhanced with sweet toffee scent. It's matte finish, buildable glow, 10 shades. Okay, so I guess that's what makes sense is that she wanted it to be matte, so that's why she didn't go baked. That makes sense. I need some bronzer, though, so bad. So here's the box here. You really do feel like you have a luxe um, experience when you buy like her products, most of her products. This one especially just looks like so luxe and just beautiful. So I have the shade Top Down um, and I really like the brown packaging. I don't hate it. I do wish almost a little bit like part of my OCD wants the brown to be the color of the whatever color you got so like you know the lighter skin tones lighter browns I don't know why just because it's like brown brown bronzer it just made sense um but just so you guys know here's the Too Faced um <clears throat> chocolate soleil which I will swatch them next to each other eventually but I want you guys to see the size here and then here's Miss Charlotte Tilbury so it's not quite as big as Charlotte Tilbury but not it's a little bit bigger than the regular Too Faced bronzer so um there is that this shade is really, really warm. I really, you know, it's really hard to, bronzer to me is really hard because you never know. Like, there are medium skin tone. There's obviously light, fair, fair, light, uh, medium, tan, deep, dark. Like, those kind of shades. There's so many shades, first of all. Second of all, all these people like different kinds of bronzers. Some people really like warm tone, yellow, uh, orangey kind of bronzers. Some people really hate warm tone, orangey bronzers. Some people like cool tone. Like, it's so hard. So, I'm like, oh my gosh. So, 10 shades to me, to me, seems fine because I was able to go between a few shades. But I'm sure for everyone is not enough. Um, so, I don't know. We're going to go ahead and rip this bad boy off. Ooh. <laughs> All right, let me just actually, I'll swatch it for you guys first. Ooh, I'll just swatch it on the back of my hand here. So you can see it is a little bit deeper, a little bit more tan, definitely warm tone. So that looks stunning. I'm really excited to try that because like you guys can see a lot of my foundations are way too light for me. It's just going to be the way that it is. Um, and so I need something that helps me out here. Yeah, there is definitely some kickback in the pan when I went to... Ooh, wow, oh my gosh. Light-handed. Oh my gosh. Wow, it does blend really, really nicely because you guys saw that harsh line and it kind of blended away. And it just blended into my skin really, really nicely. I really like that. Wow. Oh my 
gosh, that is stunning. You can definitely see the difference here. Um, it really is a nice color for my tan, honestly, uh, this bronzer shade, just because it really takes, like, it really is the right bronzer color, I should say. It's this pretty, so pretty. It is matte, but not flat in any way. I'm about it. That was really easy, really smooth. So I'm just going to do the other side quick. I was just checking out some reviews and I, the only one, I clicked on a couple, they really like it. Um, the only one that I saw that didn't like it so far was, um, out of like the couple that I read was, um, she said that she got the lightest shade and it was really orange on her. <laughs> so I'm like, yeah. I mean, you have to remember too, like, you know, we kind of have as a beauty community, we've had, we've changed the way certain words, we've changed the way some people think of certain words, I should say. If I say bronzer, bronzer typically means warm, warm, warm it up. I mean, like you're bringing this, uh, like, uh, this bronzer, you're <laughs> bronzing your skin. Like if you go to get a tan, um, and you want your skin to be bronze, obviously it's bronzer. So you're bronzing it up. Contour is now the more ashy gray tones. So like, you know, people have obviously, some people like to go con do contour more, which is completely fine, but you can't call it bronzer necessarily. And so I know there's a fine line, you know, somewhere and I'm talking out my butt, but um, I know for a fact that we've kind of tiptoed the line between those and like you expect a uh, bronzer when brands come out with bronzers for there to also be contour shades and that's not necessarily what they're marketing. So we can't knock them for not coming out with cool tone shades when they're not coming out with contours. <laughs> it's really, I'm obsessed with this bronzer, definitely giving the whole vibe here. So um, I still have that swatch on. I do want to swatch. First, I want to swatch. I have the Jaclyn Duo in the shade Stay Rosy and Yummy Toffee. I'm obviously just going to swatch the bronzer here. Okay. Again, I really love these duos. I'm so glad she came out with singles. And hopefully we do see like baked singles in a little bit. Um, but wow, those are actually like a lot closer than I thought. They're definitely similar. This one does work better for me when I am lighter. The shade Stay Rosy Yummy Toffee. Um, so if you guys are someone who's like me who tans really fast or you want a deeper shade for your tan then go up to the shade that I got because um, I'm afraid the the one that I was looking at before was a little bit lighter um, it's really really hard to pick my shade honestly I'm so bad at it because especially when I'm tan but I think that this one is really um, this one is a really nice nice bet um, and especially if you're uh, a little lighter all right, and then I wanted to swatch the chocolate Soleil bronzer so you know this is another one like this is definitely a contour shade but I guess it depends on your skin tone, so there's that. But it's definitely a cool toned contour shade. Yeah, it's completely different, but I just wanted to give you guys a little look-sees because I know um, Too Faced Chocolate Soleil most people have. And like for me, I can get away with wearing Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. Okay. I just prefer something a lot more warm and a lot more... Um, and a lot more pigmented like a lot deep deeper I should say um so again there's that and then a little uh, I'll swatch Charlotte Tilbury if you guys um just so you guys could see it but I did want to swatch the Benefit Hula Caramel Bronzer because um this one is the like most orangey bronzer I have and I love this sucker ah so delicious I gotta put it on that side all right I just swatched it up here and yeah, those are looking pretty similar, like once it kind of blends into the skin here. Oh yeah, those are so similar. <laughs> so if you're someone who wears Hula Caramel, then again, go with the shade. Go with the shade top down. I mean, honestly, if you have Hula Caramel, I guess you don't need it. But like, if you want it like I do, um, then definitely like if you have Hula Caramel, then you would be the shade top down, just so you know. I wanted all the, like, I wanted them, I wish they were called, like, the vitamin D bronzers. I don't know why, because I really wanted to buy the shade vitamin D when it even was when it wasn't even my shade, because I love the name. Like, I think that's so cute, like, a vitamin D bronzer. Obviously, it's vitamin D, like, it's bronzer, but it's, like, you know, the sun, and it's so clever, and I just wish they were all called vitamin D. <laughs> all right, and then the last one we could swatch together is the Charlotte Tilbury. I just, I was showing you guys the packaging for this one, but I have it here. Wait. 
And then this is in the shade tan. So number three tan. Um, it's the regular one. It's not the um, cream version yet. Um, yet. Like I'm going to get it. It's this one at the top here. Yeah, it's definitely lighter, not as warm, um, but definitely like it's the same. Like I would give one, two, three, four, like these three are all the same, like medium tan skin tone. So um, if you have that one, you could also pull this one off. Um, I obviously only have the one shade, so I don't know if there's one that's a little bit better of a match, but I really think that this one obviously looks a lot darker too than it does on the face. So you have to remember that like once you blend it out, it's a little different than a swatch. So um so juicy <sighs> all right i'm gonna do a little bit of the rest of my makeup we're gonna see how it goes and then i'll be back all right so um a few things normally at the end of the night i don't have time to sit down and film um so if i do i will if not i will add um my description down below of how i think it wore at the end of the day um but honestly guys i'm kind of truly obsessed i think it is so pretty on the face i think it really just warms up the complexion and really just took me to vacay it really took me to the beach right now and I'm just obsessed. I can't stop staring at it. It blended like a dream. It was beautiful. And honestly, like if I was, um, you know, the foundation, if you guys go, if you guys look at Ulta right now, the foundation and the concealer actually are both on sale. They have a little bit of a sale going and I don't know if it's because like they were so bad that she, they were just like let's get rid of this stuff because the concealer is not good and the um foundation is like subpar i don't even know what to do with it honestly so definitely waiting for her to come out with other products like as far as complexion goes so like i'm just saying that to say that if i needed to tell you guys the truth about this i really would because those are bad this is amazing so she really does like i think her she she has a specialty and creams is not one of them <laughs> It's definitely the powders so I'm obsessed um, I think that if you have the duo um, do you need the single yes if you want something matte if you want something more glowing lifelike definitely get the duo um, obviously you get two in here so it's not like it's it's not as easy as just buying one single thing in my personal opinion because I always find it hard to match both my shades for my skin tone um, but um, if you find one that you like and you're like which one do I want this one definitely more glowy more lifelike more um, uh, more glowy. <laughs> this one is definitely more matte, um, but it's not flat. So if you're looking for a good matte bronzer, this one should be your bestie. So, um, this also like kills me. It's like, come on, do we have an accent color? Is it brown or is it, is it black? Let me smell this. I went, ooh. <laughs> I was going to say, I went outside yesterday in the pouring rain and I just was like, it felt so good, honestly. I don't know if you've ever been there, done that, but it feels so good. Um, and so I'm a little stuffy, but this smells magical. Honey, mm, yes, you need it in your life. Splurge. I used um, my Ulta points on it because that's how badly I wanted it. And I was like, I think I need this in my life. So 10 out of 10. I think the shade is really, really nice for me. So if you're someone who likes that really like orangey, sun-kissed kind of vibe, um, definitely go with this shade. Um, I really hope this was helpful for those of you who have a harder time picking up. All right, so I actually do have a minute to film. It is like 6.30 almost. Um, so I've been wearing it for quite a long time. This bronzer is so long wearing. Honestly, I still look like I just put it on. My blush is stunning too. <laughs> My forehead is always a little mess. I don't know what to do with it. But everywhere else is beautiful. I look bronzy, glowy. It's a true stunner, and I'm so glad that... Um, I picked it up, so I 10 out of 10 recommend, super long wearing, again, can't go wrong. <laughs> Let me know, are you picking one up? Um, yes, that is it for this video, I really hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in my next one, bye guys!